good morrow, good friends. Um, we are 10 miles from the Whitney Junction, and we are hoping to get to the last hiking or the last through hiker camping site here today for a Whitney Summit tomorrow. Today it's supposed to be a little bit more windy and a little bit colder. And then tomorrow we will be climbing to the highest peak in the contiguous. Is it contiguous? Contiguous. I thought it was contiguous. Contiguous. Not continuous. <laughs> contiguous. I think everyone calls it the continuous, but it's contiguous. We're gonna hey, be, <laughs> We're gonna be climbing to the highest point in the lower continental United States. <laughs> There's some debate on the word if it's contiguous or continuous, so any who's or what's it, we're gonna pack up because it's eight o'clock. We are getting up later and later. <laughs> I hate to see in Washington, we're gonna be getting up at like noon. <laughs> it's like, we were getting up at six, now we're getting up at eight. <laughs> what miles? What miles? Well, we have a short day today, so we're gonna be just fine. Um, yesterday was a relatively big day. Not a lot of climbing, more climbing the day before, but longer miles, so it's kind of evened out with just the exhaustion. But <clears throat> we've been like at 11,000 feet for most of the day yesterday, so we're like hopefully a little acclimated. Um, I am still <coughs> having a little bit of trouble breathing. Um, I've had a lot of respiratory issues in my life, nothing like chronic, but I was very sick as a baby. I had an underdeveloped respiratory system. Cigarettes are bad, okay? <laughs> and uh, get a lot of respiratory infections and just a lot of things. So I'm a little more cautious about Whitney and I know that I'm gonna just have to take it very slow and see how I feel and go from there. But enough about Whitney, because today is not that day. That is tomorrow's problem. Today is just making it to the Whitney Junction and enjoying some of these beautiful Sierra views so far. Okay, I know I've been dropping the ball with my videos. It's just been very challenging for the first few days here. Just with my breathing and the terrain and the climbs and the snow and the cold, cold, cold nights. But we have been hiking with quite a large group and we're all trying to like figure out logistics to make it um, to Whitney safely and then head towards Forester Pass tomorrow. And We've just been kind of cruising along. Um, so far the Sierras have been quite surprising. I think we were expecting a little less barren, um, but it is also like winter time up here. But you can see just like through the trees, there's just mountains everywhere. And it's very beautiful. Lots of really old pines and spruces and cedars and We've been thoroughly enjoying it. We've been soaking up the sun when possible and just kind of hanging out with like a dozen other hikers and just kind of getting acquainted to the high elevation oxygen levels, which is definitely probably the most challenging part of everything is just feeling like my lungs only inflate like 60%. Um, and we've pretty much been above 10,000 feet for a while. So, you know, just getting acclimated, uh, learning to listen to my body, not pushing it so hard up hills, because I was and I was making myself nauseous um, and giving myself headaches. So just trying to take things slow and making our way to the Whitney Junction and seeing what uh, the next next endeavor is. So, yeah. Alright, so 
so we are settled in. We are tired, but tomorrow is not windy. So check back then. And for now, that's gonna be good night from day 44. Bye. from the summit of Mount Whitney! Woohoo! We made it! Alright guys, we made it to Whitney. How do you feel? Fantastic! Woohoo! Cold! Cold. 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 Woohoo! <laughs> We've arrived. We came, we saw, we conquered, we hopped and popped, and now we're leaving. <laughs> Alright. A nice little bonus, a little bonus day for us here. <laughs> And it's only 7.30, so we can have a rest and make our way towards Forester Pass. nearly back to where we left our stuff this morning and I don't know well, whatever happened up there I am really struggling um, I think it's just we climbed 4,000 over 4,000 feet and we were at a high elevation I have been really struggling to get protein and just being slightly dehydrated because it's hard to drink water when it's frozen as you can hear it jingling around um but i'm like really struggling to, to get back um i just feel very slow sluggish like even my leg muscles just hurt which is weird for being almost 800 miles into a through hike like they just feel tired which for me indicates not enough hydration and definitely lack of protein well, because my muscles are not able to replenish themselves. So when we get to Bishop hopefully tomorrow, I will have to reevaluate food and maybe start eating protein bars, which I don't know. I can, I can add some other things in there, but you know, I'm just trying to make it back so I can lay down and eat and just rest for a little while. And on top of all of that, obviously, we didn't get any sleep last night. As you can surely imagine, if we were at the summit of Mount Whitney at about, I don't know, 7.30? It was only about four, four and change up. And I think it's much less than that down, maybe less than three down, but maybe three and change down. But yeah, all those things combined. I am not in a good way today. Not in a good way. <laughs> I think I'm having my emergency dinner for lunch today because I think it's an emergency. All right, We've got our extra gear as you can see. We have cans. And now we are headed back to the junction and headed towards Forrester.
after a nice lunch where we rested and ate some food, we are kind of skiing down, ski down this like snowy embankment. It's very slushy, which means we know kind of what we're gonna have to do up and over Forester Pass tomorrow. So we know like at 9.30 the snow gets slushy and so to try to be up and over well before that. Um, we just have a few more miles today. Everyone is kind of floating on fumes after Whitney. Um, just got to get to the ranger station right before, like about four miles below the summit or before the pass. And we can all go to bed early, hopefully. Everyone seems to just be exhausted from a very long day and early morning. So. So you can, as you can see down below, old cock and balls lake. <coughs> and we are on the final approach to Forrester and then right up there looks a little sketch, but we've got equipment and I think we're ready to go. saving is cold on your ass but I use my sleeping pad um, but still brr, my ass is frozen all right we are headed up 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 towards Glen Pass but we are detouring at the Bullfrog Lake because we have a town to get to. Kearsarge is just up there. You ready for town? I'll put my crusty lips on there. just got to the Onion Valley Trailhead and we were told that the road is closed so there's about three cars here and we saw two sets of day hikers and that we're going up so if we get a ride it'll be a couple of hours but we're hopeful it looks like the road's gonna be closed for a couple of weeks due to some boulders on the road but I guess it's still passable so Fingers crossed we'll find a ride or we'll start the 20 mile road walk. Okay, so we got a ride into Independence from an amazing trail angel. And now we got some ice cream at the gas station. We are going to attempt to hitch to Bishop. Whoops. Because I guess there's a wedding in town and none of the rooms are open. So we'll see. A very long day. We made it to Bishop. We are gonna go get some pizza and then we are going to bed because we've been up since like I was up at like 3 30. Um, so not a lot of snow but just enough. Just enough. Just enough. Anyway we have been absolutely stunned so far in this first like 80 some miles 
it has been absolutely stunning and beautiful and brutal, but we have been thoroughly enjoying it. So tomorrow will be a day off where we can resupply and figure out this long, heavy resupply to get us to Mammoth because BVR is not accepting packages and your ranch, I don't believe, um, is so, like BVR isn't open yet and neither is Muir Ranch, so um, it's gonna be a quite a big resupply. However, anyway, that's future Rockets problems. Um, but we're gonna go eat some pizza. We are gonna get some sleep. I will see y'all on the other side of tomorrow. Good night. Day 47. We are waking up in Bishop today. You can see the mountains back there. They look freaking huge, man. Um, but today is a zero, so we can resupply, calculate mileage, soak in the hot tub, rest my lungs as they are whew, not enjoying the elevation and the cold, and taking a zero. And tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow is the trudge back up Kearsarge Pass. That was not pleasant. I imagine the ascent with a 10 day or eight day resupply is going to be even worse. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. And we are all about it. We have our eight day resupply. Hopefully that gets us from Onion Valley Trailhead to Mammoth Lakes. We have our, all of these are backpacker pantry except for this is mashed potatoes and stuffing. Then for lunches, we have ramen because they're light and packed with calories and two couscous. We have our energy and our electrolytes with more electrolytes. And we have our breakfast bars. So we have eight of those. And then we have like our daily snacks here. So hopefully we do not starve on the way to Mammoth Lakes. 